So we just got to the farm and we actually just met some of our neighbors. They were, we were unlocking the gate at the beginning of the road and they pulled up, it was an older man and woman. He said that his dad actually bought this farm in the 70s and they were the ones that built the addition here on the edge of the house. And that was built on in the 70s and they were dairy farmers, but the farm went bankrupt and then they had to sell out. So then we know that it was also bought by another dairy farmer. It was sold five years ago and then now we bought it. We asked him if he knew how old the original house was and he said that he had no idea. It was just here whenever they bought the place and then they added the additional. He also said that the cattle crossing down there used to be the driveway and they were also the ones that built the new road to the house in the 70s. But today we're not gonna get much done on the house. We just have to put some windows in and we have to do a lot of prep work for moving all of our furniture in. And we actually went and got our cattle trailer out of the barn and we went on the 127 yard sale. I think it was the first weekend in April, or not April, but August, the first weekend in August. So all of the furniture has just been tarped and in the barn. I didn't want to put it there, but we could not afford another storage unit and I haven't seen it. So it was exciting to be able to see it, but I'll show you guys some of the furniture that we bought. But we got our windows. These are the replacement. They just put replacement glass in them because the windows were overall fine in this part of the addition, but they just needed some of them were busted out, so we got two of them. And now this room will be completely dried in so that we can use this as storage. So this is where all of our furniture will go. And right here at the back door off of the addition, we also have to move all of this metal because we're gonna back the trailers up and unload it into here. It needs to be hauled off to the scrapyard, but we just haven't had time yet.
We just now finished unloading the furniture from the cattle trailer. My parents came over after they got off work to help. We're really hoping that we have enough room in this addition because we measured it out and it's going to be cutting it close. <laughs> like I said, none of this furniture came from storage. This was just parked in the cattle trailer over in the barn. Not our barn, but my father-in-law's barn. It's just extra furniture. And then I still have furniture at my mom and dad's house that I've bought over the summer and stuff at yard sales. So we still have a lot of furniture and I just really hope that it can all fit in here. <laughs> We're trying to sort all of it out by how soon we'll need it because in reality, we really need to make sure that we don't go past this right here all the way over to this door because so we have a bit more room than the storage unit, but by the time we've added all this extra furniture, I'm, I don't know. The storage unit is literally packed to the ceiling. It's at a 10 by 20, so we're really hoping we can fit it all in here. This furniture, I bought it. The only reason I bought that, the bed and the dresser is because I wanted this vanity and it has a mirror. I just, it's at my mom's house. I wanted the vanity and not the dresser and stuff, but she was going to make me pay $200 just for the vanity. But if I wanted the bed and the dresser to go with it, it was going to be 300. So I just bought all of it as a set. So that will someday be in our guest room. And then that's just some drying racks and then the boards that we're going to use to walk out from the cattle trailer to the door tomorrow. But we're trying to separate it because that stuff on this side, we do not need or plan on using anytime soon. This stuff over here is all stuff that we will need. This is actually my kitchen island and it needs to be cleaned really bad. But it was like that whenever I bought it. I bought it from an auction house and it's an old hutch bottom is what it is. It just needs to be cleaned up and it's, I'm hoping it is small enough to work for the kitchen. And I plan on putting it on wheels and then just adding a top to it. And these two dressers, they came as a set. I bought them on the 127 yard sale and I think it was around London at an expo center. I bought both of these and the pair of them, they had $400 on it and they ended up coming down to $250 for both of them. And I was in love with them for the sheer fact that they were already refinished and I would not have to do anything to them. But they got so beat up in traveling like all the way back home. So I'm going to have to re- sand these down and repaint them unless I can like take a drawer or something to Lowe's and see if they can paint match. I don't even know if that's possible, but like I would have to take a whole drawer in there so that they can paint match it. And we had cardboard laying in front of it. So I really don't understand how it got so bad, but hopefully we can fix it. And then this is the armor that we got. And this was only $40. And the guy that we bought it from said that it is from the Great Depression era and it's huge like whenever it's built. Now that I'm looking at it, I honestly don't even know if it will fit next to the fireplace where we tore out that closet. It looks a little bit too wide, but I absolutely love it and I just cannot wait to have it in there. And these bathroom hooks or these towel hooks, I'm actually going to take them off and use them in our downstairs bathroom because I hadn't planned on any towel hooks yet and I just remembered that I have those. And then our coffee table. And then we have dining room chairs and stuff that we also bought. And those are at my mom's house also. But that's going to be it for today's vlog. So thank you for watching. And I hope you will like and subscribe.